Shalom, shalom, Mishpaka. All glory and praises to the Creator, Yuhei Wafe, and His most humble Son, Yuhei Wafe, Bet Nim Sophie, Yuhei Wafe. Welcome back to the channel, family. Today, we're going to talk about the topic of the Kingdom of Heaven. And it's coming from the book of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 12, as it relates to this very day and to these people. So we're going to break down this scripture and give you a more enlightenment of it. So when you read this scripture, you put it in its proper context, past, present, and future simultaneously. All right, we're going to dive into it. Matthew chapter 11, verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. Now we're going to go into each one of these words, that these key words that we keyed in on, right? First of all, we're going to deal with John, John the Baptist. John the Baptist was born in the first century B.C., and he died around about the 30th A.D. So, and if you look at those dates on the Hebrew solar calendar, on the Holy Hebrew solar calendar, that brings us around roughly the fourth day, which is the 4,000 years on the Hebrew calendar. Now, from this very day back until John the Baptist, we'll be approximately 2,000 years ago, right along with the time of Yahshua. They was three years apart, all right? So remember that, the fourth day, 4,000 years during John the Baptist. And also John the Baptist was a part of the priest coming from the tribe of Judah. So we already know who Judah is. We already know who Judah is. Judah is black unto the ground, all right? So keep that in mind. Now, the next word we're going to dive in is the kingdom, right? It says that... The kingdom suffering violence, right? Now, in the Greek accordance of the Bible, the word kingdom it means a realm to rule and reign, right? And the definitions of that word kingdom also is nation, state, a sovereign nation, empire, sphere of influence, and territory etc right so now we see that the kingdom which is a nation suffers violence right it says the kingdom of heaven suffering violence now next key word heaven the Greek concordance Number 3772, the word heaven means happiness, power, and some synonyms for heaven coming from the J.R. Rodell is paradise, kingdom, city of God, New Jerusalem, and Zion, right? Now, we already know that the word Zion is another code name for the children of Israel. And you can find that in scriptures such as Psalms chapter 48, verse 11. And Psalms chapter 69, verse 35. Right? So we see that heaven is relating to a group of people because they suffer by it. Now, moving right along, family, it says the kingdom of heaven was suffered by violence. So violence in the Greek accordance, reference number 971, means to be seized. And seized means to take hold, possession, or control of, as by force or legal authority. Hear that well. To take hold, possession, or control of by force or legal authority. And it says, and the violent, another key word, Greek number reference 973, violent means a forcer. A forcer is a person or thing that forces. And a force 
is troops, army, legion, regiment, weaponry, and tax. Did you hear that? Now, this is talking about, in this particular scripture, Matthew chapter 11, verse 12, that a group of people, a nation of people, was taken by force, right? By a forcer. Now, who was the enforcer at that time? During the time of John the Baptist, the Roman Empire was in control of that area in Jerusalem. They were the enforcer up until this very day. They are the enforcers of Israel this very day. Even though Israel is in the land of America. Right? And I know you will ask that question. How is Roman Catholic enforcing Israel? Well, anybody that know a little study and did a little study, they know that <clears throat> the Roman Catholic Church owns the United States Corporation of America. Right? Through the treaty that King John of England made in 1213 AD. Do your own research. The United States Corporation is owned by the Roman Catholic Church. Yeah. Oh yeah. But that's a whole other study. But I just want to drop these jewels on your family. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Shalom. And a near hope.